Hey guys, Trevor here. Today I've got a video for you about a very unusual tactic in Call of Duty Ghost, and that's using slugs in hardcore mode. Uh, slugs are a shotgun round attachment. It shoots one giant bolt of metal at people instead of the pellet spread. And the funny thing about them is that their minimum damage is still more health than you have at long ranges in hardcore mode. As a matter of fact, I did a whole in-depth about slugs that I'd recommend you check out. But if you don't, basically you have 30 health in hardcore mode and you don't regenerate it. Slugs deal 32 damage at very long ranges, and and they have special multipliers on the body, which in most places on the body it actually gives you bonus damage, which is much more than you need to kill. And there's a few places like the feet and the hands and the knee and the elbow and stuff like that where you won't kill in one shot. But I'm going to say about 90% of the time you shoot somebody with a slug in hardcore mode, you're going to kill them in one shot. Always, if you hit anything even close to center mass, you're just going to drop them instantly. I just shot that guy in the butt and he's, he's just toast. He's done. And this is a really funny kind of thing to do. It feels more satisfying than it should. I mean, look at me. I'm running the Bulldog shotgun, which is generally considered not a good shotgun. I have a silencer on it, which again is unusual for shotguns. Running a red dot sight, also unusual because they don't, you know, normally people just hip fire and they don't help very much. So I've got my Christmas <laughs> ugly sweater camo gun and I'm just dinging people in hardcore. And the funny thing is you don't get kill cams in hardcore. They're not seeing that I'm using slugs. They're not seeing how I'm killing them. They just know that there's a guy shooting them either up close in this clip or you'll see later on I'm dinging people all the way across the map with, with shotguns. I got accused of hacking more times than I can count. Every time I would shoot somebody, they'd scream, that's BS. How is that possible? You're a hacker. You're a cheater. You know, at least I got my account legit, blah, blah, blah. And this is a legit tactic. I, I think it was left in the game on purpose, kind of like the KSG in Black Ops 2. And it is, it's a difficult thing to do, unlike most of the cheesier, trollier kind of classes that I give you. This is a viable tactic. It's something that you can actually reliably do as long as you're accurate. It's really not much different than using a marksman rifle or or a sniper rifle or something like that. I would liken it to using a marksman rifle with much higher recoil and much higher mobility. So it's 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 very viable and it's funny. It's probably not as viable as it is funny. If I were playing hardcore for real to win, I'd probably get a honey badger and just sit in a corner like everybody else. But this works, and I'd recommend that you try it out. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about today is that Gamble Labs has a holiday sale. I got them to do one specially for you guys. I missed out on the Black Friday due to some other weird contractual stuff that we're not going to talk about. But there is a 50% off on Gamble Labs on their website. Everything is 50% off. It's about as cheap as it's ever going to get. It's practically a fire sale. So if you're interested in trying it out for the holidays, I'd recommend that you give it a go. Also, uh, they're doing a giveaway of both a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One and a variety of their own products. And the giveaway sign-up is free or relatively free. It's like follow them on Twitter, like on Facebook, that sort of stuff. You'll find the links. There's that sniper shot in the description. That's what I'm talking about. As long as you can just line up your shots accurately and take your time, you can just pop people. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to the side, and I think I picked up a field order that says I need to kill somebody while I'm prone. I had to stand up to see him over the bushes, but you can just kind of counter snipe in their spawn. Like, see that guy back there? He's got a marksman rifle, and he thinks he's a genius. It's like an SVU or an MK14. Like, he thinks he's just going to sit back there in the back of the spawn and uh, snipe at me with his thermal scope, but instead, I'm going to snipe at him with a shotgun, and it doesn't make people very happy when you do that. Uh, I'm kind of running out of uh, topics to tell you about the slug rounds. They're just so, so funny. I don't know. I don't know why I find this amusing as I do. Also, the guard wolf is kind of amusing. The thumbnail I actually put in there from a movie called The Killer Slugs. It's a pretty god awful late '70s movie about slugs that invade and kill people. I'm also going to be a douchebag here. Set up a sentry gun on their spawn. Who does this kind of stuff? Um, I do not encourage trolling in Call of Duty games. Uh, there's, a, there's a big difference between playing in an unusual playstyle and just flat out trolling. Uh, while I was doing this, it's gameplay that you're not going to see, there was a guy that was straight up trolling. His class was fully loaded, Panzerfaust, uh, then he also had noob tubes. I, I teabagged him trying to get the humiliation challenge. Danger close. And I believe he also had, uh, I think it was like an MSBS or something that's just ultimate one-shot kill here in Hardcore. And all this, oh wait, C4, that was it. And IEDs, and you know, just, he, he'd vary his classes up a little bit. I did manage to get a KEM strike with it. And this guy would basically camp and shoot Panzerfaust into the spawn and spam uh, noob tubes and this kind of stuff. And it was very, very awful and not fun to play with that guy. Like, that is that is a kind of trolling or, or cheesing or, you know, you know weird gameplay that I wouldn't recommend because it was just... 
not even not even amusing or rewarding or skillful in any way. It just punishes people. I mean, this one at least I have to work for my kills. So that's this in a nutshell. But one of the things you probably didn't know is that if you get 100 kills with slug rounds, you unlock this elite reticle. And I've never actually seen anybody using this online. So after I did, I went back to core mode and used it a little bit. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought that it was going to be a much tighter uh, two deltas or carrots facing each other. I thought it was going to be kind of like the beam rifle in Halo 3 or 4, how they have those, it's kind of like almost you put their head in there and you take a snapshot, but they're a little bit too far apart and too wide to be used accurately at long ranges. It's not bad for medium range because you can just kind of put their body or their head in the middle and it gives you a pretty clear sight of what you're shooting at, but unfortunately it doesn't always give you a very clear center point, especially when your sights are shaking. So if they're a little bit further away than, well, what I'm dealing with here, they uh, are going to be somewhat difficult to hit because you can't get on target as good as you need to. That's about it for this commentary. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something useful. And if you play hardcore, I hope that you try the hardcore slug rounds. They are very, very fun. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.